In nearly three years after her death, a jury will finally be selected to determine the fate of the man accused of killing Molly Tibbetts. WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson joins us this morning. She is live in Brooklyn, Molly's hometown, with a look at what led up to this day. Good morning, Kaylin. Good morning, Andy. Molly Tibbetts was a 20-year-old University of Iowa student who grew up here in Brooklyn. But the trial for her accused killer will be held in Scott County due to concerns of finding an impartial jury here in Powasheet County. Christian Rivera faces one count of first degree murder in her death. His trial was originally scheduled for April of 2019, but has been pushed back several times. Some delays due to the pandemic, others due to decisions on evidence. Because English is not Rivera's first language, there have been questions if his rights were violated during the investigation or whether his conversation with law enforcement should be used in court. The Iowa Supreme Court eventually decided that it could be used during the trial. Even though it's taken nearly three years to get to this day, the events of her disappearance, finding her body and finding the suspect only took about a month. The last time Molly was seen alive was July 18th of 2018 when she left her boyfriend's house to go on a run. He was out of town for work at the time. On July 19th, she did not show up for work at the Children's Day Camp at the Grinnell Regional Medical Center and was reported missing that same day. On July 24th, the FBI began assisting local law enforcement in the search for Molly. A reward fund to find her grew to more than $300,000. Molly's family, boyfriend, and members of the Brooklyn community were trying to bring awareness in other ways. So they wore t-shirts and handed out flyers with her picture on them at Ragbri and the Iowa State Fair. It's where all Iowans come together once a year. And so I can't think of a better, more crowded venue. Um, to get people to think about where Molly is and how we get her back. Molly's body was found on August 21st in a cornfield near Guernsey. That same day, authorities announced that 24-year-old Christian Rivera had been charged with first-degree murder in her death. Investigators say they had found Rivera through some security camera footage, and when brought in for questioning, he had led them to her body. Her autopsy did show she died of, quote, multiple sharp force wounds. Now, later this morning at 9 o'clock, jury selection will begin, and the court plans to summon up to 400 jurors, with nearly half of them going before attorneys for questioning. Now, later this week on Wednesday is when the trial is expected to begin. That will be aired via court TV and will also be streamed online. Andy. Yeah, no doubt that will be the talk of the town there in Brooklyn. Thank you for that report, Kaylin.